Hi there, my name is Mike Gibbs, and today I'm going to be talking to you about welding in agriculture. Now I know a lot of you are probably wondering, what is welding? But first, we need to talk about what agriculture is. Agriculture can be defined as the production of plants and animals to create things like vegetables, meat, as well as grains. They can also be used to create clothing products such as leather and wool. Modern day farmers use big machines such as tractors to help make their jobs easier planting their crops. They also build barns and fences to keep their animals safe and protected. Tractors are made of metal, which needs to be put together just like when gluing two pieces of paper together. Although in this case, instead of using glue, we use a weld to make the metal stick together. Now, unfortunately, metal can also break, just like a page might rip out of a book. But instead of using tape or glue to put the page back in, we can also use welding to help fix the machine and put it back together. Today, I have professional welder Dane here, who's going to go a little bit more in depth of the process with us. Hi Dane, how are you doing? Good, you? Good to see you. So today, instead of using metal or paper and glue, we're going to use canned cheese and some crackers. Now, the crackers, that's your, that's your two pieces of metal. So, and then the canned cheese is going to be your weld. So, first weld we're going to do is we're taking two pieces of metal, two separate pieces, and we're going to stick them together. So this would be like if you're building a table and you have two big long pieces of metal and you want to stick them together to make it one big long piece of metal. So we're going to take our weld, which is our canned cheese, and we're going to start, and oh, it messed it up. So there's first lesson of welding. First lesson is you have to start with what we like to call a tack. A tack is when you put a small weld on one end of your piece of metal and a small weld on the other end so it sticks together and holds so you can do your full weld. Now, as I weld this, you see I have my two tacks done. I'm going to start on one side and I'm going to jump across the crack as I spray the cheese. And this will make it so that the two crackers will be joined together as one. And now there, we have our first completed weld. Now you see, these two crackers are now one cracker. Our next weld we're going to do is if something breaks. So here we have a full cracker, and oh no, it broke. How are we going to fix this? So first off, we're going to start just like we did last time with our tack. So we're going to put a dot on that end, and we're going to put a dot on the other end holding it together. And now it's held in place so we can go ahead and do our weld. We're going to start on one side of the crack and spray and jump across the crack. And now our broken cracker is fixed and it's now one solid cracker. And those are great pieces when you are wanting to put two pieces of metal end to end. But what if you want to make something structural, like you're building a fence or a building and you need it to get taller? So we're going to do the same thing except we're going to put our two pieces of metal, or our two crackers, like this. And just like before, we're going to make sure we put our tacks. So we're going to put a tack on each side. We're going to flip it around and put a tack on the other side, too. So we have tacks on all four corners. Now you see, that is held, but it's not very structurally sound. So we're going to go ahead and put a weld on each side. Now make sure when you're doing this you go back and forth to so make sure you spread out the cheese. And there we have a structurally sound weld. See, that is now one cracker and we could build off this, we could make a whole building out of sh little shapes like this. So 
So now that you've seen me do some welds, it's your turn to do some welds. So we're gonna start off with two full crackers. We're gonna line them up end to end. Make sure there's a small gap between them, okay? So first off, take your can of cheese, hold the crackers with your other hand and put a tack. And remember, a tack is just a small weld on one end. Now we're gonna turn it around and put a tack on the other end too. And now our two crackers are set up and ready to weld. So we're gonna make sure we take our can of cheese and go side to side as we spray. And then when you get to the end, you're gonna stop spraying and you're gonna wipe the cheese off so it doesn't drag with you. And there you have a completed weld. Well, what do you think we learned here today? Dane, I think we learned a lot of important skills today. We learned what welding is, what it's used for, and how to do it. Now, what I like to do whenever I'm off work, I do love welding though, but I think every single one of you kids, you should look around. Look at the door frames in your houses, look at your vehicles, look at the fence you drive by, even the playground equipment. It's all got welds on it, so take the time, to look at it and appreciate the work that went into building that. And the next time you're on or near a farm, stop by and talk to the farmer and ask him how he uses welding on his farm. I think that's all we got for you today, folks. Thanks for watching.